The test was conducted by the Factory Mutual Research Corporation at its Rhode Island facility. The ETFE line duct was purchased through contractors with the provision that the duct be FM approved. The ETFE line duct failed. Six pieces of 12 inch round, 47 and a quarter inch long, flanged sections of duct were bolted and sealed together with Gore-Tex gaskets. The average thickness of the ETFE coating applied to the inside of these pieces was 10 mils, which is the factory mutual approved thickness for ETFE duct lining. The heptane source fire is contained in the structure at the left hand of the duct. The view at the upper right hand corner of the screen shows the interior of the duct as seen from the fire end. This test is designed to last 15 minutes. However, the duct in this test failed at 3 minutes and 40 seconds, with flames seen inside the duct at the viewport, 23 feet from the fire source. The temperature at the 23-foot thermocouple exceeded 1,000 degrees. When the test is terminated and the heptane fuel fire source had been extinguished, flame can still be seen inside the duct. The ETFE coating at this point had become its own fuel source and is supporting combustion. To extinguish the fire in the duct, FM personnel sprayed water into its interior. When the duct is separated from the blower, both fire and water can be seen coming out of the duct. Note that the heptane fuel fire source has already been extinguished. The Teflon ETFE used in the inner liner of the duct is acting as a fuel source and is sustaining the fire. Teflon ETFE melts at between 473 and 536 degrees Fahrenheit and combusts at 878 degrees Fahrenheit. As the fire source in the FM test is approximately 1500 degrees Fahrenheit, it is clear that this temperature vastly exceeds that needed to combust the ETFE liner. Unlike a thermoset resin, which will not melt once hardened, Teflon ETFE is a thermoplastic. Thermoplastic resins will melt when heated and can travel down the duct system when under negative pressure. The FM4922 test you have just seen was conducted on ETFE line stainless steel duct at FM Global's Fire Test Center in Rhode Island on November 16, 1999. The ETFE line duct was purchased through contractors with the provision that the duct be FM approved. In this test, the clear ETFE coating melted, pooled at the bottom of the duct, then caught fire as the temperature exceeded the flash point. The temperature at the fire source exceeded 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. The ETFE coating melts at approximately 500 degrees Fahrenheit and ignites at 878 degrees Fahrenheit. Droplets of the melting ETFE coating were sucked into the airstream and pulled toward the fan. In this test, the duct liner in the sections closest to the fire source were completely burned away, along with the majority of the green base coat. As you can see, the color of these duct sections is primarily a light green wash over steel. 
A tar-like residue began to appear in the second section of the duct as the fire progressed toward the fan inlet. The residue began as a thin strip two to three inches wide and increased progressively along each section until the last, where the thick tar-like residue covered almost the bottom half of the duct. After the duct failed the test and the heptane fire had been extinguished, a ball of flame was still seen burning inside the duct. The ETFE coating at that point had become its own fire source and was supporting combustion.